The question comes to mind for we, the music lovers, who the richest musician is in Nigeria. Occupying number 10 is Flavor, Nabania, or simply Flavor, with a net worth of $9.5 million. Real names Chinedu Okoli, who was born 23rd November 1983. Chinedu is a singer, songwriter, and a multi instrumentalist. He began his musical career as a drummer for a local church. Flavor is popularly known across Africa and the world for his hit song, One Baby. He is currently signed to Tonight Entertainment. His genre is Igbo High Life. In 2005, he released his self titled debut album, Nabania. In 2010, Flavor released his second studio album, Uplifted. It was supported by the singles One Baby, Adama, and Only Remis. The album's success made Flavor one of Africa's most sought out artists. Flavor was booked to perform at numerous concerts and social events following Uplifted's release. Occupying number 9 is P-Square, with a net worth of $10 million each. P-Square were a Nigerian duo of identical twin brothers, Peter Okoye and Paul Okoye. They produced and released their albums on that Square Records. In December 2011, they signed a record deal with Acorns Convict Music Label. In May 2012, they signed a record distribution deal with Universal Music South African branch. On 25th September 2017, numerous media outlets reported that the group disbanded. Reports about a breakup surfaced after Peter reportedly sent a termination letter to the group's lawyer. Prior to this report, the duo disbanded in 2016. Some of their most popular albums include Danger, Game Over, Double Trouble, The Invasion, Get Squared. Popular hits included Beautiful On You, Personally, Collabo, ETC. Number 8 is Timaya with a net worth of $10.5 million. Netimi Timaya Odol, born 15th August 1977, is the founder of Demama Records Limited. His solo career began in 2005 with the release of Their Mama, which also appeared on his debut album True Story, released the following year. His second album, Gift and Grace, was released in 2008. Timaya gained further visibility and international prominence via his third album, The Rebirth, released in partnership with Black Body Entertainment and his lead single, Plantain Ball. Both were commercially successful. He collaborated with the Mama Studios on the album Long Life and Prosperity. In 2012, Timaya released Upgrade, which spawned hits like Bomb Bomb, Sexy Ladies, and Marlon Nogede. To date, his work has earned him several notable awards and nominations. Occupying number 7 is Fino with a net worth of $11 million. Chibuzo Nelson Azubike, born 9th October 1986, is a Nigerian rapper, singer, songwriter, and record producer. He started his music career as a producer in 2003 and is known for rapping in Igbo language. His debut studio album No Gods to Glory was released in 2014. It was supported by four singles Ghost Mode, Man of the Year, Paso, and Oset. Fino has worked with artists like Timaya, Flavor, Rugged Man, Bracket, J. Martins, and Mr. Raw. Fino attended IMT Enugu where he studied public administration. Some of his songs are Ride For You, Father Father, So Far So Good, The Bag. He has endorsed brands such as Globacom, Narabet, Monster Energy, and Cadbury Nigerian Peers. <laughs> Occupying number 6 is Olamide with a net worth of $12 million. Olamide Adedeji, born 15th March 1989, is a Nigerian hip-hop recording artist. He records mostly in Yoruba, his native tongue. In 2011, he released his debut studio album Rhapsody, while signed to Coded Tunes. 
YBNL is follow-up album was released under its label imprint, YBNL Nation. The album was supported by the singles First of All, Voice of the Street, Stupid Love, and Elefo Illuminati. Olamide attended Taishulari University of Education, Ijebo de Ogun State, where he studied mass communication. He has endured several brands like NSC, Globacom, Etisalat, Siroc, Sterling Bank, and Goldberg. Olamide is well known for hits such as Power, Wo, Motigbana, Melo Melo, and Dobo. But if I tell you that I love you, I bet I bet you're not going to me to your move. At time, that TV is all over to you. At time. Occupying number five is Tubaba with a net worth of $16 million. Innocent Ujai Dibia, born in Plateau State, Nigeria, is a singer, songwriter, record producer, philanthropist, humanitarian, and activist. Prior to July 2014, he went by the stage name Tufesi Dibia. He is one of the most decorated and successful Afropop artists in Africa and is also one of the most bankable performing music artists in Africa. With over two decades in the industry, Tubaba remains influential in the Nigerian entertainment space. He attended Masegubra Secondary School in Makodi, Benue State. He was enrolled in IMT but he later dropped out to pursue a career in music. He is married to Annie Macaulay. They got married on May 2, 2012 in Lagos, Nigeria. He currently has seven kids from four different women. His hits include See Me So, African Queen, If Love Is A Crime. They wanna tell you, tell you, tell you, another story. Occupying number four is Bonner Boy with a net worth of $17 million. Damini Ogulu, born 2nd July 1991, is a Nigerian singer and songwriter. He rose to prominence in 2012 after releasing Like to Party, the lead single from his debut studio album, Life. In 2017, Bonner Boy signed with Bad Habit slash Athletic Records in the United States and Werner Music Group internationally. His third studio album, Outside, marked his major label debut. His dad managed a welding firm while his mother worked as a translator. His achievements include winning a BET award in 2019 for the best international act and collaborating with Beyoncé on her album titled The Lion King, The Gift. The Odogu Crowner is most liked for his hits such as On The Low, Ye, Nobody, Bona, Jarai and Dangote, ETC. Occupying number 3 is Don Jazzy with a net worth of $18.5 million. Michael Collins Ajeri, born on November 26, 1982 in Umwahia, Abia State, Nigeria, is a Nigerian singer, songwriter and a record producer. He started playing drums before he was 4 years old and began playing the guitar when he was 12 years old. He attended the Federal Government College, Lagos. He attained a degree in business management from Abus Ali University, Ekboma, Edo State. Don Jazzy co-founded Mohit Records in 2004 with the band. On May 8, 2012, he founded Maven Records. This was after Mohit was disbanded. Don Jazzy ventured into the oil and gas industry in Nigeria by establishing Maven Energy in 2013. Maven Energy deals with the supply of petroleum products to homes and companies. He has endorsed brands such as MTN Nigeria, Johnny Walker, Conga, Loya Milk, and Samsung Electronics. Oh, yeah. Sparrow Beach. Big waves, five pairs, ten days. Occupying number two is David Doe with a net worth of $19 million. David Adedeji Adeleke is an American born Nigerian artist known for hits such as Blow My Mind, Risky. Assurance, Skelewu, Aye, Flora My Flower, and many more. He was born on November 21, 1992, in Atlanta, United States of America. He was raised in Lagos and made his debut as a member of KB International. He studied business administration at Oakwood University before dropping out to make beats and record vocal references. He has collaborated with brands such as MTN, Guinness, Nigeria, and Infinis Mobile. He rose to fame after releasing Damiduro, 
the second single from his debut studio album, Omo Babalowo, from which six additional singles back when Ekuro, Overseas, All of You, Bong Bong, and Feel Alright were taken. Nigeria is no other person than Whiskey, aka Starboy, occupying the number one position with a net worth of $20 million. Ayodeji Ibrahim Balogun, born on July 16, 1991, in Surulere, Lagos, also goes by the name Starboy and Leaves Skies. His mom is a Pentecostal Christian, while his dad is a Muslim. He has 12 sisters. He went to Jebodi Grammar School and for his higher education, he attended Lagos State University. He started recording music when he was 11 years old. His hits include Joro, Oju Elegba, Energy, Fever, Come Closer, ETC. He has endorsed several brands like Pepsi, MTN Nigeria, Guinness, and Glow. Whiskey is the Forbes' richest.